All right, y'all. Molly Music, man, and transition to Molly. Courtney Jamal Pollard, man, he was born in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, but he grew up in Savannah, Georgia. Uh, he said he started out playing the piano at five years old. Uh, he got it. Um, he started singing in the church, and then he got involved in the missionary of music in the church at 11 years old. Uh, his first record deal actually came from Akon. Akon be having all the talent at first. Si <laughs> yeah, I mean, yo, this dude be having everybody. I mean, he's but, a talented uh, dude, so I'm sure he knows how to find talent. Yeah, but uh, the, the deal with Akon didn't work out. So in uh, 2011, uh, he signed with Akon, but he was going pretty much not shortly after that. He ended up signing with RCA, RCA Records in 2013. Uh, he pretty much started out doing gospel, and then he started transitioning into other genres that he liked. I can hear that. He yeah. sums his music up as a a, uh, a continuation of everything we love about all the artists that we do love. You know, basically like Michael Jackson, Prince. Like he, right. he considers himself just a continuation of good music. Cool. And uh, the transition of Molly is actually his fourth album. So, uh, how do we feel? about the transition to music yeah man i thought i've heard the name molly music before because i was like i've heard this guy before i think when you said gospel i was like okay i probably heard him somewhere before but man i thought this project's pretty dope man i gave it 86 um i feel like he has a strong strong voice and it's like you know he can he can play with it any kind of way is he is he from anywhere like like what's his uh descent like is he from i didn't see anything about his descent because i mean it's one song i think it was uh i don't know which one or one it might have been i thought he was coming off as kind of like caribbean or something like that i can hear that maybe it, a little bit in contradiction too but um my standouts for this joint was love by you crying still in contradiction uh those are just standouts that's not the only songs i like but those just what stood out most of the album to me but as far as the whole album, I love how each song flowed to one another. I didn't feel like there was a bad song at all. Um, but I love the two features that he had. Jasmine Sullivan was really dope. And Janae actually kind of surprised me on that song because it was kind of different from her. So I, I really like that. But yeah, um, I thought it was dope, man. I, I really like it. And I'm probably going to check out his other albums as well. I go next. Yo, uh, this Molly Music joint was actually really dope. You know, I really appreciate what he brings to the table. Uh, he can really sing. Uh, even if he is doing gospel at all on this project, it, it's not super preacher or anything like that. Right. Um, Love By You featuring Jasmine Sullivan, and that, that's a great song, man. Uh, I like Crying, Contradiction with Johnny Aiko, um, Worth It, and uh, what, what You Done. I like both of those. Uh, what You Done has kind of got like that reggae type feel and like what is yeah. voice that's probably the one yeah that's probably the one then, yeah. okay because i know one of them has more of a caribbean vibe but that one has more of a kind of like reggae yeah. type vibe but uh overall man the dude can sing uh, he's got talent i like his writing style i like the beats that he's choosing so i don't see any reason of why this dude can't be like the next guy i don't know how i heard his name because i feel like i heard his name before we done this too yeah uh I don't, I don't know. I feel like maybe there's somebody else named Molly Music as well. Because I or feel the, like some dude named Molly Music was on Love and Hip Hop or something. Or I'm just like, the Molly the Molly theme that we had for like the, the whole Molly wave we had for like two, three years. Did I, did I say <laughs> the great? No, you didn't. Oh, I gave it an 84 B. I thought it was dope. Okay. All right. We right around the same um, ballpark. You gave it a 84? He gave it 86. 86. 86. I gave it an 85. I thought it was dope. I gave it a B85. He has strong, clear voice. His delivery is very clear. Um, he reminds me of John Legend at times. Um, uh, standouts for me was crying. The production was dope. The the melody on that joint was dope. Um, Dollar. Um, I like how there was stand up music in this also. I felt like I don't know if y'all caught some of the lyrics. It was kind of you know stand up music. Um, yeah. It, it's like R and B soul, but it's not just about love. It's about feelings, life, you know, feelings, emotions, not just love. Yeah. You know, love is one side of the emotions or, or, or feelings or whatever. Kind of goes into that transition. Yeah. Kind of thing, yeah. Um, still, um, I like still. Sounds like it has elements from like old school music. Um, contradiction. I get like a little Bob Marley sound from him at times. I thought that was dope. Um, my life, I liked also. Um, so, yeah. That's one, two, three, four, five, 
six six tracks out of what 12 50 percent you know what i'm saying so i thought it was dope gave it a b 85 yeah i liked every song on this joint yeah there, there was nothing i felt that was needed to be skipped or anything like that right right and uh shout out to molly music man yeah definitely. Hey, man. 